everybody? It's Titan Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. Today, we're about to take a look at a recent release. The rumor is that this was a limited sneaker, and I'm also going to show you a couple pickups I had at a store you would not believe. And most people sleep on those stores, those type of stores, that is. But before we get into all that, I need a couple things from you guys. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also, do it that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. Do leave a comment down below in the comment section and sub up to the channel if you haven't already. And throughout the video, uh, make sure you look down in that description box. There's some links in there. You can go shopping for some nice merch to match some of the kicks that you've been copping or already previously copped. Now, we're gonna go look at uh. The items that I picked up first. And yes, this is Ross. A lot of people wouldn't think to go in Ross or sneakerheads, but Ross sometimes have retro Jordans, but they be uh without the box. I'm not sure how they attain these or if they are even uh authentic, but I have seen YouTubers or videos on YouTube or people uh Picking up pairs of Jordans retro out of stores like Ross and TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So I was in Ross in Orlando actually, because I forgot to add this to the uh, pickup vlog of the Military Blue video that I did down in Orlando, Florida. And when I was in that Ross store, I picked up a couple of things and these polo socks right here and y'all see the price these are authentic Ralph Lauren polo socks a dollar ninety nine yes definitely gonna put those to use cuz I am a big polo guy now I love socks by the way and here you go another pair of Stan socks is one of my favorite brands of socks to wear majority of my socks are Stan's with the exception of the Supreme socks. And these are $4, $3.99. These are NBA licensed stand socks and it is the Phoenix Suns. These will go good with those J Balvins that just came out. Or uh, I could see if they match the women of Canyon Purple. And look, here we go. We got the Miami Heat the uh, city edition colors and these were six dollars normally these socks are like 20 bucks 25 dollars on stance's website i'm not sure how uh ross is able to sell them that cheap but they are authentic and you can see they are stand socks so i just wanted to show that to you guys let me know what you guys think of that pickup and what you think of ross stores that put me on game if y'all be finding authentic sneakers jordans nikes and ross put your ball on game let me know now uh the sneaker we're gonna look at today shout out to foot locker I was able to hit this release on the Foot Locker shipped to me. And like I said earlier, they said this release was supposedly limited. They did a shock drop on Nike sneakers app. As I saw you that box logo, that KD logo. Uh, this is the bottom of the box as well. They did a scratch and sniff. A scratch away to get the sneakers I tried it but I struck out but I already had these on the way from uh, the Foot Locker raffle on the flex app as I show you that box tag right there I'm gonna go ahead and read it this is the KD4 and the color is lush green vote and black this is a side fitting side fitting B noise those are mine going for the toe and the price on these, I think, was 130 US dollars. I posted on my IG store that I uh, won this shoe, as I show you that last step right there. And I received a DM from one of my IG followers, like, Can I buy these? I was like, Nah, brother, for the tote. As I show you this white paper, is glossy on one side, rough on the other. We have nothing else inside of the box. So we're gonna box this up and 
let's get into the review. Here we go, guys. We have the Nike KD4 Weatherman. Uh, this sneaker was originally introduced to us in 2011. I believe KD was still with the Oklahoma City Thunder uh, at that time, but the story behind this sneaker is a career that KD wanted to pursue as a kid. Yes, you know when you have career day at school and they have a guest speaker possibly and they're asking you uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, apparently Kevin Durant wanted to be a weatherman. That was his answer. But those dreams were put to a side as he pursued his basketball career. And in 2024, Nike decided to retro these. These were once considered grails, guys. It still is. I'm really happy that I was able to get them for retail. Uh, but a lot of people was a checking for them. I'm not sure what the resale is on them, but uh, I'm happy they didn't want them and I was able to get them for retail. So let's just get into it. Uh, this sneaker is made on a lush green base. You got a little mesh right here on the quarter panel. You got like a smooth type of leather or plastic going on here. You got a little vent right there to give you circulation on the sneaker. Now you have a uh, black uh, midsole. You got a translucent hit down there, a little zoom technology. And you can see uh, underneath there, there's a pair of Oh, forecast. Uh, if you're watching the news and the weatherman is giving his projection for the day or the week, what the weather's going to be like upcoming, you may see something that looks like this. And that's what this represents underneath here. It's all under this translucent material. And you do have the KD hit right there on that carbon fiber. Now, they also have illustrations of this on the... Uh, shoe itself you got it going around your heel right here and you have his uh logo his signature kd logo right there in black and you, you see how they incorporated that weather pattern over here on the heel going over to the medial side of the sneaker and you see you do have that four foot strap unfasten it you see it's adaptive fit show that to you guys adaptive fit underneath the strap that's what it looks like more of that lust green leather right there and you got that little mesh uh, on your quarter panel just like on the other side go ahead fasten it back up and you do have that carbon fiber right there it's solid black got more of that rubble going on that midsole translucent hit right there and let's get in here yes it does come stuffed with tissue Ugh, there you go guys come stuffed with that tissue and give you guys a closer look at that toe box it's nice shiny lust green this material you do have a like a lime green looking nike swoosh a little small one you do have a, you got a mesh tone. Comes with one set of laces, these green laces right here, lust green I should say. And you get to the top, you got more of that weather pattern, but in black it says 35. That was the number KD was wearing at the time for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And you look, there is the sizing tag right there. I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you. It says US size 15. And the production date is December 7th to uh, January the 30th. So about a little under two months of production with these. Uh, let's see, does the inserts come out? Now, I'm not going to mess up my shoe, but this is the right shoe. This is what the insert looks like. You have a, a lime green insert or Volt colorway insert. And you got the lightning bolt and clouds and that sun 
I think it represents partial sunny skies. Don't quote me on that. As you can see, the sock liner has that uh, pattern, that weather pattern going around the sock liner. And I forgot to point this out. There is his number as well on the strap as you got the weather bands going on. This is a very detailed sneaker. And I wanted to show you guys something else on the left sneaker. It says on the inside uh, insert, it says the weather, I'm sorry, the forecast calls for a thunderstorm. That's what it says inside of here. Cool little feature. Hey, y'all go. Very detailed sneaker. Uh, will I be wearing these to play ball? Heck no. These are more of a fashion sneaker. I'm gonna rock these in the summertime with some shorts. So let me know what y'all think. Uh, we also have the KD Nurse supposed to retro later this year. So it look like Nike is working back all the basketball sneakers that were actually grails for some of the sneaker heads back in the day. So uh, how do you guys feel that Nike keep retroing all these sneakers that were once grails? Leave that in the comment section down below. I'm gonna go ahead and get out your hair, but before I go, like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.